And then dropping it in the skillet. Well, it's the end of a, another long weekend of fishing. Time to clean all the gear off. Outback Quest, clean out the fish bag, and all the gear. I ordered a new tackle because I lost a whole bunch of stuff, and a new fishing rod. I'm out of fishing rods, people. I've ran out of fishing rods. Oh, bring it here. Let me see it, let me see it. Ah, ah. We have it. Give me, give me, give me. Clean this bad boy off. It's a weekend of fighting fish right here. Probably everything on here is caked in salt. In salt water. We snorkeled out of it. We caught big fish. And now I gotta figure out what gear I broke and when I didn't. Try to order some more. Sports getting expensive. No, not really, but ah shit, I'm just gonna put wet. But still, you know, you go through, you know, if you do something a lot, you're gonna go through gear. So then I'm probably gonna have to completely take apart my little pen. Samantha dunked it under the water. Go check out that vlog. What do you think, Bella? What do you think? What do you think? What are you doing, Samantha? Making stuffed jalapenos. Stuffed jalapenos. Check this out. Look, I got king mackerel balls we're making right here and Spanish mackerel. And basically what I'm going to do, I filleted, or got the skin off, cut the blood vein out with the little bones, made them in chunks like this, and then we're going to fry them. It's going to be awesome. Yep. And, and then we're, we're making homemade mac and cheese. Homemade mac and cheese and jalapeno poppers and banana, or uh, banana pepper poppers. <laughs> Fresh out of the garden. Fresh out of the garden. Fresh out of the garden. Just picked them. I got my king mackerel balls and my spinach right here in little chunks. Dipping them in the flour, into the eggs, into the cornmeal. Then I'm taking those and dumping them in here. In here. And then I'm going to flip them when they get gold and start floating. And then they're going onto here where I get the grease off. Hey. It is it's a treadmill of awesomeness. Oh, check this out. Getting close. Jalapeno and banana pepper poppers. Eating awesome tonight. Eating oh, and, and we got homemade mac and cheese. Check it. What? All right. So the final steps. Got the Spanish in here. Putting it in the cornmeal. Roughing it up pretty good. And then dropping it in the skillet. Look at that. And then look, all done. Check out these peppers. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get weird with a handful of okra. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the eggs. It's just leftover egg batter. Samantha's hounding or holding the recipe close to her. She won't tell me to tell y'all how she made the recipe. That's not true. It's totally true. He didn't ask. I did. She said it was a secret. <laughs> All right, now into the cornmeal. We're running out of cornmeal. Running low, people. Running low. Let them sizzle.
All right, YouTube, I'm going through my gear, doing a rundown of what I got and I don't got, and I really don't have a lot. I'm about out of tackle. This, this machine's running to a halt, okay? Here's what I got. I'm gonna laugh, but this is about all the tackle I got right now. I got a handful of hooks, like some sevens, some cheap seven-aughts, and then a cheap, like, big wide gap, like eight or odd or whatever that is. Like one, like six aught, and a jig. <laughs> and I got me some, some big curly tail throwing jigs for tarpon. And then I got some sabikis and 41 pound wire, some, some mono, uh, mono leader, and some random swivels down there. Like all my jig heads that I bought last year for bull reds, rusted out. And then, that was like quarter ounce and half ounce and three quarter ounce. Now, I gotta go to Walmart or Academy or something. Try to figure this out. Got me a signal mirror and a knife and gloves. That's really, that's all that's in there. I think I need some six aughts some four aughts, some number four treble hooks, three times strong, and some half ounce jig heads to throw at tarpon with strong wire, and oh, and some gotcha plugs because I threw one the other day and my line broke and off it went. So, oh, and I need another rod and reel, 4000 series, so, and some 20 pound braid. So, run into a screeching halt here, people. So you want to see what happens when you don't wash the sand out of your truck? It just keeps piling up in it. Coma needs a bath. 